Hey everybody, what the fuck is going on? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez, bitch. The one, the only Bird motherfucking Martinez, bitch. Look, bitch, your girl is getting thick. Not really. I just been eating, you know, and like when I eat good, good, like I always eat. I'm not anorexic, but when I eat, eat, like when I'm happy and eating and shit, I get a, I get a little weight and I like it because you know what? My mom. She has a big butt. She has a ghetto booty. She has a black lady booty, my mom. So, you know, when she had us daughter, her daughter, she didn't give nobody her butt. But the one that has a butt is my little brother. And I'm like, how is that even fair? You leave me here with no butt, and then you give it all out to my brother. But my big sister, the one that lives in Mexico, Pilar, she has this, like this, and then whoop. Like, uh, like, como se dice? Um, pear? Pear body? Pear shape? Or the Coca-Cola? Mm, you know what I'm saying? And then my sister, Julia, she's like tall. She's the tallest one of them all. Angelica, my other sister, she has a flat tummy. And me, I'm just motherfucking me, bitch. So anyways, um, so I haven't been, make, I haven't been making videos. I have been cooking, bitch. I always cook. But it's just that I haven't, I've been cooking stuff that I already showed you guys. So I was like, how can I make a video if I already made a video about this and okay i'm gonna do it twice but anyways your girl is here now um today i'm gonna make something that's like very easy but it's very very good everybody has their own way of, way of making them this um my husband's grandmother she used to sell tortas back in the day in mexico city so my mom made, made used to make tortas a certain way right but then i saw how she made them and I was just, I just fell in love. And that's how I make them. But anyways, today we're gonna make tortas. I bought bolillos from the bakery. And they're so, this is how I like my shit. Like soft from the inside and like crispy from the outside. Like a real good bolillo, that's how it looks. And I bought my shit at Ralph's before. And I was like, what the fuck is this? It didn't even have a little cut in the middle. And you, you know, when it's, when it's good, bolillos, it smells good. So I bought 10, so that's $5 right there. And I'm also gonna make three kinds. I'm gonna make, the, you know, the original carne asada. And for that I'm using, I think it's two pounds. Yes, two pounds of flat meat, boneless beef flat meat for a thin family pack. And then I'm gonna use, I don't, this is what people don't really know. Well, I don't know about this until I got with my husband. And it's called queso de puerco. Well, it doesn't even say where it is, what it is. But I'll look it up. It's like, but all I know is pig. But it's like ham or some shit like that. And then I'm going to use a regular ham. This the one right here, Farmer John's. I don't know. I'm not even fancy or anything. I, was, I just always just get whatever catches my motherfucking eye. And then I use it. And then if I like it, I use it. Also, very importante, motherfuckers. You must use beans. If you don't use beans in your tortas, I don't know. I don't really, really know what the fuck to tell you. You really need beans. You know what? I'm not even going to front. Before, I never used beans. But then, you know, I met a fucking professional torta maker, which is Mario's grandmother. And she showed me the way. You know, rest in peace, Tomasita. But yeah, she made the best tortas. So, beans. Also, I'm going to use cheese. Queso fresco. You can use whatever cheese you want. And I'm going to use crema, sour cream. Also, I'm going to use mayonnaise. Um, I got my onion right here. Tomato. And look, motherfuckers, how much damn lettuce I have. I have this much lettuce. But it's okay because I'm waiting for the cucaracha to pass by. And that bitch sells it for like a dollar, so we're good. So anyways, for the chiles, you could either use a salsa or you could use some jalapenos, which I'm going to use. And I'm also going to use some chipotles. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all you need up in this hoe. Let's do this. Let's start this motherfucking video. I want to say if it looks like at the end, in the middle, I don't know what the fuck happened, but I recorded it and I could only hear my voice and there's no image. So I don't know what the fuck happened, but I don't want to waste this video. So if in some parts that shit don't make sense, just know that I don't know what the fuck happened. But I still want to upload my motherfucking video, bitch. But you know what? It takes fucking time to do this shit. But anyways, hope you guys like this motherfucker. Like this motherfucker. I'm gonna start by cutting my meat. 
So I just, I'm just gonna cut it in little pieces, like this. Teeny weeny shrimp bowl and bowl and dun 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 short short and. Um, the other day, baby Mario was like, "Mommy, I wanna help you," and I was like, "No, you can't help me in the kitchen because you're gonna cut yourself." Da -da 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 -da. But he really wanted to, so I was like, "You know what? I'm not gonna take his inspiration away because what if one day he wants to cook for his wife or whatever? I don't wanna be weird." He was doing so good with the knife. Like, he's a professional. I was there the whole time, and then Mario got mad at me. He's like, why are you letting him use a knife? I was like, I was checking on him. I have to let him express himself. I want my son to be able to cook for himself. I don't want him to rely on a girl or expect his wife to cook. I mean, I wish, like, if, if I could get whatever I want, I would like my for my son so, you know, one day cook for her and then the next day she could cook for him or they could cook together because that's a beautiful thing. Also, I'm not like, um, you know how some moms are like, oh, no, boys, boys stay in the fucking outside and girls stay in the kitchen. Nope. My son starts growing. I'm going to make him help me too. not make him. He's going to want to. Like yesterday, I wish I would have recorded it, but I didn't. But yeah, he got the tomato and he was like this. I mean, he made a mess, but the fact, I still use the damn tomato for to make talondigas. I just like to see him, you know, being uh, helpful and shit. I was, a, I was a proud mama. But he had technique. Like, he didn't even touch his fingers. Like, he was close. He was like this. I was like shaking. I'm like, oh my God. But I stopped by Yoko Nel. So yeah. I hear some moms be like, um, well, people be saying now, like, oh, mothers are turning their boys off feminine and shit with makeup or whatever. But I feel like, I don't know. That's why I tell the girls, don't put makeup on your brother, not even as a joke. Because, you know, it's not like I'm scared if my son turns gay or wants, you know, whatever. But I feel like I don't want to push it either. If he wants to do it on his own, it's cool. But, like, I feel like some, some people, they be, like, pushing that shit on the kids. Like, oh... You play with girls, you must be a fucking transsexual or transgender or some bullshit. It's like, nah, maybe the damn kid just wants to play with damn dolls for like a day. Fucking people take it off the ass and shit, start doing a sex change. <sighs> I mean, it's ready. I'm just gonna put some meat seasoning all over that hoe. This is the Vallarta brand. I use whatever, like, I even use um Chef Merito, but... This one's almost over, so I just wanted to finish it already. If you want to, you could also add some lemon. I like to, like, get into it, touch the meat, and get that motherfucker all up in there. You know what I mean? Motherfucking jelly bang. Ooh. Getting it all remixed and shit. Put it in the pan. That's a, that looks like a lot for two pounds. I think they fucked up. They gave me more. Better for me, motherfuckers. Because that does not look like two pounds. Trust me, I know. I could probably be a carnicero. A, almost like a meat person when you... Whatever, because I just look at the meat and I already know how much it is. This is like almost three pounds, bitch. I'm cutting up my sides. And for that, what I like to do, this is my little side whatever. Thank you, my juicy that I use. And I put this motherfucker right here. So I have to wash it. And then, what I do, what I do, is put like my tomatoes, my lettuce, or whatever the fuck I have left of lettuce, onion, and cheese. So when people start making their tortas, they already have everything set up. They just start grabbing shit, you know what I mean? Cut this motherfucker. Así. Mm. En rueda. Let's see how much. I'm not, I don't want to cut all of it because not everybody in my family eats onions. I'm the one. I eat my motherfucking onion with everything. And some lemon and some motherfucking salt. That's how I do it. That's how I does it. That's my thing. Bitch. So yeah. Putting that on the side. Like so. And then the tomatoes, you know the drill. We're just gonna cut it. You know, I don't like to cut mine like thick. I like mine really thin. Just because I want to um, taste the tomato, I don't want a big fat piece of tomato. I don't know, that's just how I do it. I don't know how you guys want to do it. Piece of lettuce. Just one little piece, oh my God. Hopefully the cucaracha gets here soon, but it's okay. Now I'm gonna cut my cheese. 
my motherfucking cheese. And then you know, like I like to do it long way. Like see. I mean not too thick. Because you know you want the taste of the cheese. You don't want a big piece of cheese in your mouth. You know what? Yeah. Sometimes I do want a big piece of cheese in my mouth. In my motherfucking mouth. Este, I love cheese. Especially queso cotija. That's the shit that I grew up on. Um, except everybody would make fun of me because they say it's a smelly cheese. But that shit was bomb, bitch. The fuck? Bomb ski skis, motherfucker. It up and it's called pork cheese. You could get it at any motherfucking Mexican place where they sell fucking food. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna make a oyster video coming soon, bitch. I just can't find my damn oysters. I need to go like 15 minutes away to get them. They were selling oysters in a fucking um can. I was like, oh hell no. I want like the real deal coming out of the motherfucking show. And the guy was just like, guys, my Christmas tree, my Christmas tree. Da -da 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 and my favorite one is this one. It's a kitchen. No, a stove. A kitchen. Soy un pendeja. And I got that. Um, this, we got it in Corpus Christi. So Mandy, we, she wanted a Tolina doll. And we bought it for her. And this came like inside of the doll or whatever. I don't know where the doll's at anymore because Mandy was like, what, 10 or some shit? So yeah, that's what it looks like on our, our little ornaments. And then we have my mom right there. Yep. The camera, the cow. Pretty cool, huh? It's not a big fancy tree, but you know. So I do what it. So now, you know what? I'm gonna put my mayonnaise first. I was gonna put the beans first, but you know what? No. Primero la mayonesa. I have two of these, two containers, but they're both like, have a little bit of it. It's okay. And just spread it out. Like you spread them butt cheeks or them legs. Or that ass. Who knows? And then we're gonna add the beans. Oh, my favorite part. The beans. The beans. The beans. Uh, be careful. I have some mayonnaise right there. I didn't get it in there. And be very. Como se dice? Don't be stingy with with the beans. Put a lot of them. Now, which um, carne asada. Mandy doesn't like lettuce, but so I'm not gonna put it there. This one's for Mandy. I'll make you guys a a queso de jamón one. This one's just for Mandy. She's like, I I don't like nothing in mine because my name is Mandy. And then just find the shape. You know how it's facing that way. Just find the shape, and I'm gonna toast this motherfucker again. Fuck it. <laughs> I didn't put it high because you know I don't want it to get burnt, but I'm gonna flip oh, it. Yo. Just flip it. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I like him nice and warm and flat. Ahorita I'm gonna get the other one. The other one's gonna be more fatter. También Mario. He doesn't. I I just make his make his with um lettuce and cheese and some chiles. So I'm gonna make one right now. Mandy, she's already here. I just like to cut it in the middle. And there you go, yo. Boom, boom, chakalaka. Y está para la Mandy. You want both? Sí. Okay. Another the big, big one. I, I still need to make tamal, another tamal video. De este hoja de, de plátano. And I'm also going to make the damn um, three recipes. Three recipes under $10. Like for people. Like this girl, I don't know her name. I don't know your name, but shout out to you. She told me, like, if I could make things that, you know, when you're on a budget. Because, bitch, trust me, I fed my whole family with, like, $5. Like, no joke. Not recently because, you know, prices have been going up. But did you guys hear about Trump? Something about that he was cheating or doing some bullshit. Oh, my God. I was like, Dios mío, ¿qué está pasando con estos pochos? So, I'm going to add the queso. De jamón, no, queso de puerco. I'm gonna layer it up. You know what I'm saying? This is a big booty right here. No, a big baby, not a big booty. A big motherfucker. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna say some dumb shit. I don't, it don't even make no sense. I'm gonna put some ham. Pa' que agarre. Oh, my jalapenos, I need to cut them up. 
some cheese. I was telling the girl, because the girl at the bakery, she's like, oh, what are you going to make to eat today? And I told him, oh, I'm going to make tortas. And I said the type of tortas that I made. And the girl next to her was like, I just ate. And I just, that just got me hungry again. And I was laughing. I was like, oh, my God. She's hilarious. There's not a lot of people. They're not, like, friendly no more. Like, you say some shit, they, don't, they ignore you. Well, that's what happens to me. But that girl, I thought it was cool that she just got in the conversation. And she was just like, yeah, that's funny. And I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. I love bitches like that. Put the jalapeno on the top. Este, fucking cucaracha hasn't passed by. So I don't have a lot of lettuce. But it's okay. I think I have some red chicken, some cabbage in the fridge, but it's purple. So that's what it looks like. See, that's a big bitch. I'm going to put it in the... When I'm going to do a little remix, I put my mayonnaise and I'm going to put sour cream. A little bit too much. It's okay. Put this one over here. They could become sisters. Yeah, have you ever guys ever tasted that? The sour cream and the mayonnaise? Mmm. -hmm. Pretty good, pretty good. And this one, what are you going to be made of? Oh, this one's going to be a carne asada one. I choose you to be a carne asada torta. I'm the, I'm the choosing their future. Creating these motherfuckers right here. This one, like, I, I fucked up when I was cutting it up. Like, see how it's too thin right there? But it's okay. It's all right. Because I'm going to do it anyways. Got my salsa already. You could put some salsa. I just don't have any salsa right now. I know. I always have salsa. But it's okay. You know what? It's because I was cleaning all my my kitchen shit. And I had like a little bit of salsa. But I was like, you know what? I don't want a bunch of um stuff in my fridge. I was just trying to clean it out. Pero sabes que? Si tienes salsicha, sal salsita, échale, güey. Eh, tú, échale, sin miedo. Pero yo le voy a echar jalapeñitos. Because you know what? We gotta work with what we got. And I did it backwards. But it's okay. Ya se me partió. See, I told you I cut it too thin. Hold up. Wait a minute. I fixed it. It's all good in the hood. Mmm. See all the crema y los frijoles. No mames, wey. No mames. Tres comadres, the three amigos, motherfuckers. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, wey. Aha. Uh -huh. You could hear it. Look, I'll shut the fuck up so you could hear it. It's toasting. Oh, ass up, face down. That's just the other way. No, face down, ass up. Just the way I like to, but brr, they look like pussy lips. I didn't say that. <laughs> no, she said, she said they look like big lips smiling. I Don't they look like pussy lips? You know, like them bitches with the pastrami pussy lips? Look. Like when they're all loose and shit. I don't know that. You don't know that? You don't know that? Oh, you learned something new? No. I'm gonna fix my little remix right here. I got these at the um five dollar store. Aren't they cute? These little magnets. And that one. I love Mr. Rogers. I cover myself though right there. So that's supposed to be me on the right left on the left. And that's Mandy's drawing right there. This one she used to be Hortensia, now she's Mandy. Ooh, who that? Who that? I'm gonna cut these holes. Hold on. Hold on, Mandy. Hold on. Look, 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 look. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. The key to that right there, to cut it like the torta like that, you have to have your um knife very motherfucking sharpened. And just, you know, just hold it or whatever. Se me quedó la otra. Voy a de presumida. It's okay. It's okay, bitch. I got you. I got you, girl. And then this one. Ahí está. Ooh, this one my favorite one. La de carne de asada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this one's mine. I didn't get no lettuce because I gave the lettuce out to everybody else. And I'm the one that likes lettuce. What the fuck? But it's okay. That's what us moms do. You know what I'm saying? We get last. We get the, como se dice, las sobras. But that's because we love our motherfucking children and we want them to have the best. That's why I always tell my damn kids, but I don't know if they understand it or not. But anyways, cheers, bitches. Mm. So, I had some salsita from like, I don't know, some random restaurant. So I think you guys should make some salsa on the side and not be lazy like me. 
Now the cucaracha comes after I'm fucking done with my fucking video, pendeja. Mm-mm. I'm not going outside. And I have my daughter right here, too. See? Because I knew I was, like, waiting for the lettuce, waiting for the lettuce. Now you can't have my daughter because you took too long. I also have a free double cheeseburger. I'm Burger King. Every fucking buddy wins. I thought Mario, Mario thought he was the only special one because he won. But we noticed that everybody won. Mmm. But anyway, guys. If you guys get the chance to try this, you guys should. It's like a Mexican sandwich, Mexican torta. Try it with the beans. It's so fucking bad. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. I'm gonna make one for lunch for Mario tomorrow. See how it goes. But anyways, to all my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers, I love you. Peace and love. I like. I went for the lechuga for the lettuce, but look how pretty it looks. I know. I was like, I'm not gonna go, but I went, and I felt bad because the lady was wearing two jackets because right now it's really, really cold here in California. So I was like, you know what? Here, have my daughter and give me my. So here you go. Anyways, peace.